Um, I've actually two things I'm going to share with you today. The uh, first is uh, not really directly related to my role on MSL, but to my role in the MRO project. I'm the team leader for the imaging system on MRO, and uh, one of my uh, team members from my company was targeting MRO up here uh, as part of her duties, and uh, she brought to my attention the first thing I'm going to show you. Um, I'm gonna, I, I need to set the stage because it's going to come on the screen and it's going to flash off after a couple of seconds. What you're going to see is a, a picture that we took on August 1st of the landing area, and the, obviously the lander and its other uh, pieces are not in that image. And then the second image you'll see, it'll come up in a, uh, two seconds later, is going to be the image we took on the 7th at the same time that High Rise was taking the picture that you've seen. The, I think there are pictures in the back of the room of that. And so we rode along with the High Rise. Uh, the context camera is a much lower resolution camera. It's 1 20th the resolution of, uh, of High Rise. So we, we're 20 times poorer. So we get uh, six meter per pixel, take the image, five meters when we map project it so that we can compare image to image. Uh, and, but we also cover 50 times more area than high rise does. Our swath width is typically 30 kilometers wide. And uh, the, this particular image had a 42 kilometer width because we were looking sideways at the surface. And the, the entire image is like 275 kilometers long. So we cover a huge section of Mars when we take these images. Lilia was looking at the, the after image and she found something. Yeah, that's something a little odd. So I'll draw your attention when we when the pictures come up. Look to the right side, sort of down range from the from the area where the other pieces of the vehicle fell. So we can have the first graphic. It'll basically flash between. That's the pre. That's the after. There's the before. There is the after. There is the before. And look over at the right by that little mesa. And there's just to the upper left of that mesa. You see these little black things flicking on and off. Okay, uh, so Lilia blew that up. And if we go to the next slide, this will also be another flickering image. No, and then they see six spots. <laughs> what are those six spots? Well, Lilia knew enough to go asking, uh, Ken, Ken Edgett came in and he saw this on the screen from the door of our room and said, what's that? Because <laughs> it, it very, it's very obvious to people who know Mars, Lilia and, and Ken know Mars very well, and uh, very obvious to uh, people who studied uh, uh, of Gale that these were different. And basically those are the six uh, entry uh, ballast masses, EBMs I guess they're called. Uh, they're 25 kilogram tungsten slugs about this big. Uh, they hit the surface and they disturb the surface and uh, these, these particular things are about uh, 12 kilometers downrange from the lander. They have about a one kilometer dispersal. Um, and uh, these were what was thrown off just before the straighten up and fly right phase, just before parachute came out. These, that's they, and they fell, followed their, their separate path to the surface, and that's where they hit. So it, it was a you know, great find by Lilia, and uh, we we're all very pleased that it worked. And uh, the EDL guys were very excited to see these because this is a, another test of all the modeling they've done for EDL. This tells them how inert objects that aren't doing any activity come through the atmosphere and fall. There are other pieces that we will look once, uh, once uh, MRO uh, is allowed to turn its payload back on, we will be able to do that test, go look for, for these other large features.